didn't make it for himself either. And that's frustrating. He wanted to show his quality tonight. And he'll be probably one of the players that will be frustrated. And goals in rounds three, four, five and two here in front of a good crowd against Wolves in the semi-final. Charlie McNeil. Warm applause from the majority of the crowd for the match officials. There's one corner from which the praise is not so forthcoming. Nigel, I'm not sure the Nottingham Forest supporters would have seen whether that was in the box or outside the box from the position there and up the other end of the pitch. But it was a tight one and unfortunately the assistant referee advised the referee to give a penalty and it wasn't the right decision. But it all happened very quickly, didn't it? Forest beat Scunthorpe, they beat Reading, they beat Everton from behind. Blackburn in the quarters, Chelsea in the semis. It's not the medal they wanted, but they absolutely should be very proud of what they've done. Almost all the players in this squad, Nottingham born and bred, Forest fans, They'd love to have gone one more. It wasn't to be. Will be strange. Many of the same players meeting again in the league at the weekend as the under-18 Premier League comes to a close. And here come the winners. Al Joffrey off the bench there after McNeil. Such a regular goal scorer, Sam Mather. Their number seven. Goals in rounds three, four and five. Maynu, Hugill and the rest. Well, a lot of the crowd have stayed here to watch this trophy lift. Just listen to the noise when that... Trophy goes above the head of the captain. The excellent Gerardo takes his place. Garnacho in at the back. And some of those who didn't quite make the match day squad suited and booted and ready to join in the fun, as are the young fans. And this magnificent crowd, 67,500, as Reese Bennett, the skipper, steps up to be the first Manchester United captain since 2011 to do this. Youth Cup winners 2022, Manchester United at Old Trafford. Precious moments they will never forget in front of a bumper crowd. And we will watch their progress over the years with great interest. What moments for these young boys. Yeah, brilliant for all these young players. Now they've got to move on. They've got to go and become first-team players, hopefully at Manchester United, maybe elsewhere. That's going to be their careers. Can they go and be top-class players? Certainly, Garnacho has the quality to be a really top-class player. They thank their fans, the Forest players. They're off down the Old Tunnel, Old Trafford Tunnel. And milking it, and absolutely, why wouldn't you, every minute of it. Every touch of the cup possible. Glory, glory, Man United it is indeed for the 11th time. Silverware is expected at this football club, Stuart. Well, they've got it. Here it is. Maybe not what they wanted at the start of the season in terms of the first team, but the youth team have done them proud here. And so have the crowd. Turned up in their numbers. Wanted to see the next range of players. Many, even younger than them, have made it in for this evening. With all the proceeds going to charitable foundations. Youth to the fore in every sense, Stuart. Absolutely. The club did a good thing, making it a pound to get in. Look at all these youngsters. They were probably United supporters beforehand, but this will just back that up. It's been a great night. 
in terms of Manchester United youth system. It's been a great night for youth football as a whole. And it's been very entertaining. Can't wait for next year's cup run to start. It should be just as good. Rhys Bennett, the captain with the cup in his hands. A